Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back on our quest, back on our quest to try all the ice cream world has to offer. Today, are you ready? Are you ready? Today we're gonna do, almost a review, a review, but it's a comparison video of haagen Dolce, Le Dolce de Leche Churro Ice Cream and Churro for Churros from Ben and Jerry's. For the calorie conscious crowd, the haagen -Dazs is, I almost said 1,000. Well, I guess it is 1,000. 1,060 calories, 1,060. Sorry, guys, I almost feel like I'm a little off right now. And for the uh, Ben and Jerry's, it is 1,140 calories, 1,140. So who's had these before? Uh, I've actually had both of these a while back, but I've been wanting to try them for a while. Sometimes it's hard to get things, but hopefully, I'll be getting a car soon, and so I'll be able to rectify that issue. And for those of you who don't know what churros are, because I didn't really know what they were until I moved to New York City, and that's where my experience is with them in the Hispanic communities. So churros are rigid sticks of deep fried, I believe it's cho pastry, C-H-O-U-X, pastry dough, and coat it in cinnamon sugar. They're a popular type of donut in Spanish, Portuguese, and Latin American cuisines. While unfilled sugar or cinnamon sugar coated churros are the most popular, churro shape filling and dipping sauce vary between various places, etc. So basically, from what I understand, they're like cinnamon type donut type things. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Before anybody starts, I know, I know, they're not exactly the same. I understand that, but this is the closest that we can get as far as these two brands, so we're gonna to try to compare. But anywho, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, for sh at first, I'm gonna do the Dolce de Leche from Churro. This is cinnamon churro ice cream with thick, gooey Dolce de Leche sauce mixed with crunchy cinnamon E, like I like, churro pieces, heaven on a spoon. You gotta see that churro sauce, or that Dolce de Leche sauce all throughout it. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Who's a big fan of Dolce de Leche here? Dulce de Leche, as some of you are so hell-bent on saying. New Orleans, Baton Rouge. Yeah, it's got a lot of that Dolce de Leche sauce. I'll say that because some of you in the comments get a little, little psycho, a little psycho about the Dolce de Leche thing. Well, man, right away, get a lot of that sauce. Moment of silence. <gasps> Get a lot of that sauce all throughout it. It's very cinnamony, also. That told you, delicious sauce is all throughout it. Nice creaminess to the ice cream. You can see the dolce de leche, or I'm sorry, not the uh, the churro pieces as you get further down. Just big, big chunks of churro pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very traditional in my experience, churro taste. It's thicker. Like harder pieces, more of like a traditional style churro in my experience. Overwhelming cinnamon taste, but really, really good. So, I'm going to rate them at the end against each other. Nice creaminess to it, nice sugar, nice cinnamon taste all throughout it. Nice density, fat content. Maybe a little too much cinnamon for me, but in general, that's a winner through and through. So this is the Chure for Churros. It's buttery cinnamon ice cream with churro pieces and crunchy cinnamon swirls. So I haven't had this one as much. I had this one maybe like six months ago, but it's been a while. But I remember it being pretty good. It's definitely good, but it has more of like a... I 
I would say the, the 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 buttery cinnamon ice cream is more than it's probably the star of the show in this. That's that's really the most prevalent flavor, the buttery cinnamon. There is churro pieces in it. You can kind of see them right here. On the edge of my spoon right here. But they're more like softer. Like I want to say balls, but like um they're there, but they're just kind of like they're not very chewy, not very pronounced. Like they add a little bit of flavor, but Nothing crazy. You can see that cinnamon as you get further down throughout it. I was gonna say, yeah, the crunchy cinnamon swirls. This tastes kind of like the backside of cinnamon toast crunch, like maybe like the milk. If that makes any sense, not quite just like cinnamon toast crunch, but. It was definitely good. But admittedly, I think I might like the haagen a little bit better. So I'm going to try this one more time. Very cinnamon. I'm going to try this one more time. Okay. So first, first things first. You're not really going to go wrong with Ben & Jerry's. You're not really going to go wrong with haagen -Dazs. In my opinion, they're probably the best representation of high-quality ice cream or higher-quality ice cream at a nationwide scale who is still able to keep a good reputation for quality and just in general. Obviously, they're not the absolute best, but in my opinion, like you're not going to really go wrong with um, Ben & Jerry's or haagen -Dazs. Let's see. Scale of 1 to 100, 10 point grading scale. Um, if I had to choose one versus the other, I would probably say, just my personal opinion, that the Haagen Dazs is better. If I, if I got to rate the Haagen Dazs, I'm going to give it like a 90, for what it is. I give it like a 96, 97. It's, it, let's say like a 97, so like an A plus. And I'll give the churro, churro for churro. Honestly, only because I'm comparing it. I'm going to give it like a, a 91, 92. It's so like an A minus, and I'll tell you why. Without question, this is good. There's, there's, there's no problem with it. But I would say the reason why the churro for churro or I'm sorry, the uh, Dolce de Leche churro from haagen get is better to me. Yeah, I do realize they're a little bit different, but this is why it's better to me. It has a lot more cinnamon taste, for sure. It has a lot more of that traditional churro taste. There are like big chunks in here that, that even with the ice cream aren't soggy. They're crunchy. They're flavorful. They have a nice texture to them. They have that traditional churro taste. The... Chure for churros, it is there, but admittedly, it's a little weak on the cinnamon. It's a little weak on the sugar taste. It's a little weak on the traditional churro taste. And even the little cinnamon swirls and the churro balls throughout it, they're there, but they're kind of a light hit of it. It's not like super overwhelming. If anything, I would say like the, yeah, the buttery cinnamon ice cream is kind of the star of the show in this. And the, it's supposed to be chur like chure for churros. If it's going to be churros, in my opinion, it's not as good as it could be. You know, like I said, I, I definitely want bigger churros in it. I want them to be more authentic to what churros are, uh, the texture, the smell, the taste, and I just don't get that with this. But it's still good. It has a nice creaminess to it. it has a nice fat content to it, nice density to it. Uh, quality ingredients in general. I don't think you're going to go wrong with the tray for churros, but if you're going to do it comparatively to the Dolce de Leche, Churro, I think that personally, my opinion, the Dolce de Leche churro wins the game. Now, maybe you could argue that because of the Dolce de Leche added in there, it kind of gives it the, the, puts it over the top. But in general, one versus the other, I'm going to give this the Haagen-Dazs a 97 and the 
Ben and Jerry's a 91. So we're looking at an A minus for the Ben and Jerry's and an A plus for the tr tray for churros. Maybe the only thing I would like a little bit less of in the tray for churros is like it's very overwhelming amount of cinnamon. And it's maybe not quite the right kind of sweet. It's a good amount of sweet, but maybe not the right kind of sweet. But anyway, you guys go out and check it out. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tell your friends, tell your family. Also, while you're there, almost forgot that. What did you think about last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out last ice cream. I say that because they're often regional or seasonal or limited edition. I love talking to you guys in the comments of those videos. Oftentimes, I have trouble finding them, so I know you probably will too. Put it, put your comments down in the videos below. Let me know if there are any other brands that have churros or dolce de leche or something to do with cinnamon. I'll look for them. I'll try them out. These are, these are a winner through and through. I really don't think you'll be disappointed either one. Like I said, I'm going to give the haagen the winner here. That's a solid A+. Plus. That's an A-. minus. still good, though. You really can't go wrong with either one. So I'm going to shut up now. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will. Big shout-out to John from Head to Barbecue. See you next time. See you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.